Hey guys, what's up? I'm Steve and welcome to my world. Today, I'm going to bring you along with me in Disney World on a journey around the Food and Wine Festival. We are going to take a look at all of the food booths and their menus and so sit back and enjoy the ride guys. Hey guys, we're going to take a look at some of the uh, Food and Wine Festival booths. This is the Art of Pairing section right there. Apologize for the wind if it's a little windy outside. Here is the Chocolate Studios. If you guys see this little icon here, the purple icon, it means you can use a snack credit on it if you are on the Disney Dining Plan. If you are, you get two snack credits per day. And um, you can use all those here at the Food and Wine Festival if you choose to. We're moving on to the Cheese Studio. Here is the Cheese Studio. It says Epcot International Food and Wine Festival underneath it. Pictures of cheeses. And here is the menu. Show them ask if we are ready, which means they're about to open, I think. We're moving on to the wine and dine section. This is just a nice little hangout for everybody to come kind of relax, yes, and they are indeed opening the place up. So we're gonna go in there and check it out. You can uh, just hang out, talk to people, drink your wine, enjoy yourself. <laughs> they just opened. And here is the wine and dine menu. This is the wine and dine studio. All right. Got a nice little gazebo here with a little ornate uh, design of bottles and used to be wooden rods. They spiral around. Over here we have a nice little grassy area, it's AstroTurf. Some pictures. Nice little walkway back here. Those are actually grapevines, you can see the grapes in them. I'm not sure which ones those are, those might be grapes as well, just a different kind. Maybe not very big yet. Okay. So this is the wine and dine studio. Okay guys, there is the Mickey barbecuing a grilled topiary. We're gonna start to the right here again. Go to the country, the first one up is Hawaii. Here is the menu for Hawaii. Okay, as we move around, look at the booth. Okay, next up from Hawaii is the Festival Market, which is closed. They sell merchandise for the Food and Wine Festival. So there's nothing really we can see here except the booth and the decorations. And then we have the Almond Orchard. Take a look at the menu real quick. Okay, this is the almond orchard. <laughs> We are heading to the next booth, which is Australia. Australia, everybody's getting ready to open, so it's gonna get crowded here shortly. Okay, let's take a look at the memory, or the, uh, the menu. 
heard somebody just walk over and say good morning chef they bring on uh, in authentic people and good chefs to cook the meals there is the menu okay from Australia we are going to go to New Zealand Here is the Eat to Beat concert series. And all of the people that are coming to the American, American Gardens Theater. Okay, here is the New Zealand booth. Go check out the menu. Usually, a menu on both sides. Try to get the one that doesn't, it's either all sun or all shadow, one of the two. So, we get New Zealand. Okay, guys, across from the New Zealand pavilion is the refreshment port. This is basically a place where you can find your Dole Whip, although they call it, I believe they call it Pineapple Soft Serve. Okay guys, we are heading to Canada here. Canada, not only the country, but the Canada has its own little booth outside. So we're gonna see Canada right there. And we are gonna take a look at their menu. My father loves this uh, beef filet mignon. Moving on from Canada, I believe next up is the United Kingdom. I don't remember. We'll see what next booth shows. Okay, food line logo. Okay, guys, I see Ireland up ahead, and I see something here on the right. Let's see what this is first. This looks like a Joffrey station, and it is Joffrey's. And they have what do they have here besides coffee? There is their menu. It's right behind Joffrey's. Get a gorgeous view the lake and we're gonna head over here to Ireland looks like the booths are starting to open so should be getting crowded here shortly so hopefully we can get done before that happens let's take a look at their menu booth or not we're gonna go find out though well guys I'm not sure they have a booth they had the Rosen Crown back there which is probably in the fish and chip shop Yorkshire County but unless they have a booth up here up the hill they may not have a special booth let's go find out And they do not apparently have a special booth. We're gonna cross the bridge and head over to France. Okay, so this is France. And here is the French uh, 
little booth. There is the Brazilian booth. Here is the menu. Okay. Let's take a look over here. It looks like they get nice colorful uh, flags hanging there. on our way to Belgium, which is right here. Get Morocco in the background. There is the Belgium pavilion, or Belgium booth. Here is the menu. Okay, so from Belgium, we are heading to Morocco. Here is the Morocco booth. Alright, here is a festival shop where you can get some merchandise. Of course, Remy and Figment merchandise will be all over the place. And now we are on to Japan. Here is the menu for Japan. Okay, coming into the American Adventure. First booth is Hops and Barley. Here is the menu. Okay, so hops and barley is back in there. We're gonna have to go around to get to it. Actually, we don't. We can go right through here. Here is Hops and Barley. Okay, on to our next booth. All right guys, we have made it to Italy.
All right, so let's head on to the next booth. Which looks to be Spain. This is a beautifully decorated booth. Okay guys, we're here in Germany. And we are headed over to the German food and wine booth. Okay, let's go over here and take a look at the menu. there is another booth called Brewer's Collection. Here's the menu for the Brewer's Collection. This is the African Hut. Let's take a look at the menu real quick. And right across from Africa is the festival market. Just like the other markets, this one just is a little different themed. Okay guys, our next booth is India. Hey guys, we made it to China. Here is the Chinese pavilion. Take a look at the menu. Hey guys, looking for the Norway food booth. I'm assuming it's down here, just past Norway. Did not so big your eye. Well, I do not see a food booth for 
Norway, unless it is this bakery right back here. So, we are on to Mexico. Okay, apologize for the wind, guys. Mexico. Okay, guys, across from Mexico is. Thailand. Come over here and look at the menu. Okay, and then from Thailand, we're headed to Greece. Okay, and then from Thailand again, we're going to Greece, which is right here, very close. Looks kind of like an igloo, which would be a really nice day because it's extremely hot. Okay, moving on from Greece. We have a few more small booths up here and then a few up in the front there that we weren't able to get to when they were closed. And we will complete our tour of the Food and Wine Festival booths. Okay, next up, looks like it says Blend of the Caribbean. Blends of the... Oh, Islands of the Caribbean. Islands of the Caribbean. Okay guys, we have the booths for the next eats. We have Coastal Eats, Earth Eats, and Active Eats. So let's go in here and see what they have. This is Coastal Eats. Okay, on from Coastal Eats to Earth Eats. Yeah, we're going to 
guys on from Earth Eats to Active Eats. Over to flavors of fire. The flavors from fire. So here is the menu. Flavors from fire. It smells amazing over here. Have your flavors from smoke, and then we also have our flavors from spice. Okay, guys, so we got one more to go. It's way over at Taste Track, which is I'm assuming by Test Track. The last booth we have to review, it's kind of out of the way. And then that will complete our tour of the Food and Wine Festival booths. Okay, you guys have made it over to Test Track. And we can see Taste Track right in front of us. Okay, here is Taste Track. I don't see a main menu for it. So we're just going to zoom in there real quick. Okay guys, so that concludes our tour of the food booths at the Food and Wine Festival. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me along their journey, and we will see you next time.